Hi, it's um, Tony Morgan, the Masterful Engineer of the Engineer Team Network. And just the public warning as normal, anyone working on the boiler must be gas safe registered. So that's end of public warning. So today's boiler we're going to be looking at is the ISA, Ideal ISA HE30. I'm going to be looking at some common faults on this boiler. So you can see the data plate of this particular appliance. So we're just going to look at the boiler here itself. So one of the common faults on this boiler is the PCB. This is this notorious thing for going faulty. So that's one of the number one faults on this boiler all over the internet. Also, we've got this other part here, um, which is this is the display board that also goes faulty. All the faults are displayed on this part here. One of the other things that goes faulty is the hot water sensor. Um, if you just bring that back over, please. Yeah, on this display, you will get an H3 flashing. That means hot water sensor is gone faulty and the bottle will not work. That's located it's quite difficult to see. If you follow my screwdriver, it's up the back there. If you can see back there, it's up the back there. That's a hot water sensor. Also, you got a problem. Well, something could go fault on this boiler is the hot water heat exchanger. Here, it can get blocked and cause the boiler to overheat and give an L9 fault. That's shown on the display. What it's shown before. You can also get leakages from this region here, round about here, and also here. That's when the seals start leaking on the hot water heater exchanger. Here you got the diverter valve. It's a diverter valve motor. The diverter valve itself is in that region there. Also, on this particular appliance, you've got two types of diverter valve. This is the one with the red one, and you also have one with the grey colour. So they're the two types of divert valve motors. Also, you got in this appliance is the pump. Again, this pump, well, this boiler has two types of pumps. This has got the ideal type, or the mycin, and the other type is the wilo. So there's two different types of pumps for the same appliance. In here you've got the um, sump access, so if you want to check if there's a problem inside here, always make sure you've took out the condensed trap. Condensed trap is located here, because these can get blocked and the boiler can fill up with water. So if you to undo that cover, you could get a lot of spillage of water coming out. So always make sure the trap's clear before you remove this panel. Here you've got the spark electrode here. You've got the spark generator here. On the other side you've got the flame sensing electrode and the flame sensing cable. Here you've got the fan unit these can also go faulty and take out the PCB. You've also got a primary thermistor for the heat exchanger. And here you've got like a flu sensing point for doing any gas analyzing, which is just here. You can take that off there and check the flu and sample the flu glasses, gases through there. So that's really on this particular unit. So if you've got any by defaults on this particular appliance or any other appliance, just click on the link below and you can contact us on our website and book out an engineer. So thank you for listening and stay tuned. Also, you can subscribe to our channel by just clicking on the subscribe button. So thank you for listening and watching.